Hi everyone, welcome back to Sacred Body Studio. My name is Fabi and we're going to start today our routine. So how you feel today? Good. We're going to start sitting today, but remember, if you don't feel comfortable in this position, you can sit down on a chair and it's going to be good as well. So let's start. You can also lean against the wall if it's difficult to, for you to keep the back straight. And also you can place some yoga blocks under your thighs to help to maintain the position. It's important that we keep our back straight. So we're going to take a couple of breaths here, helping us with our hands to lift the tummy, engage the tummy. Don't let the back have the whole work to keep you upright. So what we are going to do is we're going to use our tummy. So the sensation, remember here, is funny at the beginning, but it's going to be super good for you. So you're going to pull your pubic bone towards your belly button. Yeah, like that. Pull the pubic bone towards the belly button. You might feel that the pelvis tilt backwards, but it's just a neutral position in your pelvis to keep you upright. Then you're gonna pull up the tummy, and that will help you to kind of your core muscles, your pelvic floor muscles, your abs muscles, gonna help you to keep you upright. So we're gonna try to keep that sensation the whole class. We're gonna take a couple of breaths, hands on the prayer position, but don't touch it just like that. And remember, the first breath helps to just concentrate in the present moment. That will regulate our breathing, but also it's going to bring us our mind into concentrate and what we are doing with our body. Doesn't matter what is happening around us, we keep our concentration in our breath. So hands together, just closer, but not together, sorry. And we're going to breathe into your nose and we're going to expand the arms and then breathe out and we're going to move the hands together. But not together, just closer. And let's go. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Again, breathe in. Breathe out. One more breath in and breathe out. We're gonna keep this deep and long breath the whole time. Keep your right leg at the front, we cross the legs. We hold our elbows, push our arms backwards, keep your right arm at the front. We're gonna breathe in, breathe out. We stretch towards to the right side. We take a deep breath, breathe in and out. Back to center, other side. Breathe in and out. Keep your tummy in. Remember that sensation of pulling up. One more time. Let's go to the right. Breathe in and out. Back to center. Let's go on to your left. Breathe in and out through your nose. Always use your breath to release. Let's go again. Breathe in and out. Back to center, we feel the stretch in all the side of the body. And breathe out. Back to center, last one. We go towards the right. Breathe in. And out. Come back. Other side. Breathe in. And out. Back to center, move your hands behind your head. Interlace your fingers, elbows in, and only drop your head. Feel the curving in your neck and your upper back. We hold four breaths. Breathe in. And out. Let's go for three. And out. Feel a nice release in your neck. Let's go two. Without pressure, without pushing too hard. And one more. Breathe in. And out. Lift your chest, lift the head, open your elbows, drop your arms, keep your back straight, pull up your tummy, we turn towards to the right side, you can keep your hand on your knee, and use the back hand to push your pelvis forward, lift your chest, and keep your back straight. Remember that we need to keep our back straight when we twist, and we can turn deeply. We hold here for breath, breathe in, and out, let's go for three, out, and let's go two, out, and just one more, and out, 
back to center, let's go other side, use the back hand, and the back hand you can bend your elbow, use your fingertips to help you to push your pelvis forward, straight your back. We turn all the way until our neck, we hold for four. Breathe in, and breathe out. Let's go for a three, and out, and let's go two, out, and just one more. Now we're going to back to center, and here we're going to lift our knees, we're going to curve the spine, hold the legs, and then we're going to open our legs straight the back and we're going to lean forward. We're going to repeat a couple of times using our breath. Are you ready? So let's go. Breath in, curve your spine, pull the legs in, chin to chest. Exhale, straight the back and we lean forward. Good. Let's keep going. Try to use your tummy when you drag the legs in. Pull from your tummy. Chin to chest. Open up. And we just lean forward. Again, drag the legs in, pull in, hug the legs if you can, and then open, activate your legs. We go forward, bend. And again, we drag in, squeeze the legs, head go down, and we just open up and we hold down this time. As far as we don't feel pain, you feel pressure on your feet or pain on your feet, just move one foot in front of the other one. We're just going to hold here as far as we don't feel too much pressure in our um, legs or our knees. We hold for four. And uh, let's go for three. Remember, if you cannot go too low and you are here, just hold your knees and push yourself forward. Just one more deep breath, everybody. Breathe in. And uh, now gently raise your torso, move your knees together. I'm going to turn on the side so you can see me. We're going to use our hands at the back, fingers pointing backwards. We're going to use the fingers to straight our back. And from here, we're going to engage our tummy again. Pull the pubic bone towards your belly button. Keep your tummy in. We're going to breathe in and breathe out. We're going to slide the right heel, pushing the right heel away. And then breathe in, we drag it in. We try to feel like you are pulling from your tummy because it's easy to do it just with the knee like that and forget the rest of the body. So what we're going to try to do, the exercise is simple, is that we really feel that we push away from the tummy and we drag in from your tummy. Okay, we try to keep upright all the time. So let's go. Relax your shoulders, lift your chest bone. Be careful that the knees don't go wider. Keep it in the same weight of your hips. Breathe in, breathe out, push the heel away. If you cannot slide, you can use a sock. And breathe in, drag it in. Let's go left and back. Let's go right and back. Let's go left and back. Let's go right and back. Let's go left. Remember, when you push your leg backwards, your pelvis have this tendency of curve. Try to fight and keep it straight to engage your core muscles. Right one again. And back. Left again. And back. Just one more in each side. Right. Back left and back. We hold the same position, feet flat on the ground. We're going to lift our chest. We're going to go a little bit back bend. You can drop your hands to allow you to open more your chest. Imagine you are on the beach <laughs> and feel that sensation. Open your chest, relax your shoulders. We hold four breaths. Breathe in and out. Let's go for three and out. And let's go two. And just one more. Good, everybody back to center. Now we're gonna cross the left leg at the front. You're gonna hold your elbows, left arm at the front. Breathe in, breathe out, stretch. Still that sensation of pulling your pubic bone towards your belly button to engage your tummy. Back to center, other side, take a full breath. Breathe in, and back again. Other side, breathe in, 
Oh, that's fantastic. It feels great. One more time. Toes to the side. Breathe in. And out. Come back again. Breathe in. And out. Just one more in each side after this. Breathe in. And out. And the last one in each side. Breathe in. And out. Just on the right side. Breathe in and out. Back to center. Drop your hands. Straight your back. We're going to turn towards to the left side. Lift your chest. Lift your tummy. Pull off your tummy. We hold for breath. Breathe in and breathe out. Let's go for three. And out. Let's go two. And just one more. And out. Release. Let's go other side. Make sure that you keep your back straight. Pull up your tummy. Breathe in. Out. Let's go for three. Out. And let's go two. And now feel the whole spine anytime. Close your eyes and really scan your body from toes to head. Back to center. We're going to repeat. Pull the legs in, curving your spine, chin to chest, hug the legs. Exhale. This time we're going to move the arms up and we're going to lean forward as far as you can go. Now raise the torso one more time. Remember that all these movements help to have more control of our body. And arms up. And we lean. Again, up. Hug your legs. And up. And lean forward. Again, arms. Drag in. And up. And lean forward. And the last one, up. Drag in, move up, and forward. We hold down this time. Remember, you cannot go all the way down and your knees are higher. You just hold your knees and lean forward. But it's going to be very good to stretch more your inner thigh and have more legs mobility. So we hold down. We hold here for four. And three. You can raise your head on your hands if you prefer. Two. If your feet are hurting, you can move one foot in front of the other one. Just one more. Breathe in. And breathe out. Raise your torso. Reaching up. Good, everybody. We're going to move the legs together. We're going to repeat the sliding of the feet. The important here is that we keep our back really straight. Now from here, breathe in. Breathe out, slide the right foot, and drag it in. We try to, when we slide, that we don't curve the spine. That's why we have the hands at the back to help us. Let's go left and back, right and back, left and back, right. If you cannot slide easily, just put a sock, left. And in, and let's go right and back, left and back, right, back, left, back, right again, back, left again, back, and just one more, back. And left and back. We use our hands. You can drop your palms, lift your chest to arch your back. We hold for breath. Breath in, out, and let's go two. And just one more. We release, we slide our feet forward. We reach without dropping our hands. We can flex your feet and we go. Here we're going to just tilt backwards and pull forward. 
So what we're going to do, we're going to go tiny backwards, curving the spine, and then you're going to have the sensation to straight your back, and we're going to lean forward. Ready? The legs keep in the same position. So we tilt backwards, and straight. Let's go five, and straight. It doesn't straight, but I have the sensation to allow you to move forward. Well done. Let's go for four. Let's go for three. Let's go two. And just one more. Now we're going to bend the knees to allow us to move the tummy close to your thighs. Drop the head. Relax your arms. So we have the full hinge. Don't worry for the legs. If you can extend your legs with your tummy close, it's fantastic. But if not, we keep the legs bent. We're going to hold here four breath. Breathe in. And out. Let's go for the three. And two. And just one more. And we raise our torso, reaching up. And great, everybody. We're going to drop the arms. We're going to swing the legs to the side. We're going to move on to all fours. And from all fours, keep your hips above your knees and your hands above you, your shoulders above your hands. Index fingers pointing forward. We keep the hips above the knees. And we're just going to move our hands forward onto poppy. We look to the front to allow the chest go lower, as low as you can go, keeping your arms straight, pressing with your fingertips. We hold for four. And three. Two. Just one more. Now gently, we're going to slide backwards into child pose. We're going to push our weight backwards as far as we can go. If you don't reach, jet the heels. Don't worry. Keep your weight backwards. Make sure that you don't let the weight collapse on your head. Move chin to chest. Keep your arms straight forward, pushing your hands against the ground to allow the weight move backwards. Let's hold four breath. Breathe in. And breathe out. Let's go for three. And let's go two. And out. And just one more. And out. Back onto all fours. Make sure that you spread your fingers. Don't leave your fingers flat. Really spread them. And again, always balance the weight between your wrist and your fingertips. Now, from here, what we are going to do, we're going to twist toes to the side. Open up oh, as far as you can go. If this hand doesn't feel good at, at the top, you keep it at the back. Open your chest. Let's hold for four. Oh, feeling nice. We stretch as far as it feels good. Let's go for two. And always scan your body. Front toes to head. Release everybody. Let's go other side. If you feel that your arm doesn't feel good at the top, you can move it behind. And hold it here for four. And three. And two. And just one more. And we release everybody. Index fingers pointing forward. Let's go on to down dog. If you want to have a free assessment in your down dog to get the best benefits of your down dog, go to our website, sacredbodystudio.ie. The link is here below to check your free assessment to make sure that you have the perfect down dog, down dog to have the best benefits of the pose. Have a look. And it's a free assessment. You just need to go to our website. So let's go. And let's go on to down dog. Give your index fingers pointing forward. We lift our knees. And here we're just going to inhale, lift the heels by curling your toes under. Exhale, heels down. Your normal down dog. Let's go for the three. Down. Two. Down. And just one more. 
and down. Drop gently your knees onto the ground. Raise your torso, move your feet at the back. We're gonna lift the pelvis as far as good for us. Open your chest. One more time. You cannot go, you cannot go all the way to this position. You're gonna keep your hands at the front and push your weight backwards. It's the same to extend your thighs. So ready everybody, we hold here our last stretch. So we go the maximum of deep breath. Breathe in and breathe out. Let's go for three. And out. Let's go two. Out. Only one more. Oh, it feels fantastic. Well done, everybody. We finish our class. Take any sitting position for the last three breaths. Hands prayer position. Breathe in, arms up. Breathe out. Breathe in. And out. one more. And out. hands back. Pray position. Thank you for joining us. Remember that just these ex simple exercises, basic exercises, to help us to keep the awareness of our core, to have a better posture. But the most important that we mobilize our body, we extend our muscles, and that is grave in our well-being, but the most important that we maintain the mobility in our body. Thank you for joining us, and we'll see you in the next video. Remember, you can find us on Instagram as a Sacred Body Studio, and don't forget to go to our website to find that free assessment for your down dog, and check the other courses we have. See you in the next video.